super cool. Casey Neistat was recently asked the question and answered the question, is it worth now in 2018 to start a YouTube channel? All right, here's kind of a big question. Is it worth starting a YouTube channel now in 2018? My answer for that is yes. Mine is too. But if you were to ask me, can you make a living on YouTube now in 2018? I mean, the answer is still yes. I agree with you so far. It's just a lot harder. I disagree with you there, but explain. There are so many more very good, kind of high quality YouTubers that are on this platform with the purpose of, of making a living. And as the space gets more and more crowded, it just becomes more difficult to stand out. I agree with everything he said, but there was one thing he did not say. So YouTube, yes, is more crowded. Yes, there are more creators on YouTube in general. Yes, there are more creators on YouTube to make a living now, but there are also more viewers on YouTube and there's more viewers spending more time Back to the Casey YouTuber thing. Yes, there are more high level, super talented creators than ever before, but there's also more viewers than ever before. YouTube said that year after year they get a 50% increase in viewership. I remember back when I started, I saw Shay Tards making videos. Shay Carl. And Shay Tards was getting like 200,000 views every day on his daily vlogs. And it was making the news. People were amazed by it. They were like, this guy's just making daily vlogs, getting 200,000 views. That's crazy. And everyone was saying, Shay Carl is something special. He's an anomaly. No one ever will be able to upload a video every day and consistently get 200,000 views. It was crazy. No one had ever seen that before. And then a couple years later, you have Roman Atwood. And Roman starts putting videos up. And Roman is putting videos up every day and he's getting like one to two million views on his vlogs. It was insane. Everyone's like, this is crazy. How, how is he doing this? Roman is an anomaly. No one will ever be able to do what Roman is doing. It's crazy. And then you go a couple years later, <laughs> and the bugs are everywhere. And then you go a couple years later and you have the Paul brothers, Jake, and Logan Paul, and they're putting videos up that are getting like six to eight million views every day. And it's crazy, people are like, this is crazy, how are they doing this? It's not because Roman is 10 times better than Shay Carl, it's not because the Paul brothers are five times better than Roman, it's because there's more viewers on YouTube than there ever were before. My videos now get more than Shay Tards did, but that was way back then when no one else could do that. Now everyone's doing it. And it's not because everyone is that much better. It's because there's that much bigger of an audience. So let me say I do love Casey's videos. I think he's amazing at what he does. But he's sort of, I feel like he could have talked some people out of it. It will be hard, but it's no harder than it was back then. I would even venture to say it is easier now to make a living on YouTube than it was years before. So if you have any inclination to make a YouTube channel, you should do it because the odds are still against you. It's still gonna be hard, but the odds are better than they ever have been. That's how I would edit what Casey said, and I hope if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel, you do. I agree with Demo Ranch and Casey Neistat, except the only thing that I would change is how the, high, the bigger channels get the most views and they have better content because they're getting paid for what they're doing, and also, um, Roman Atwood, Shay Tards, and Casey Knight, I mean, uh, PewDiePie are the, uh, outliers because they didn't start from a different platform or got a shout out from different channels. Like, Roman Atwood, Roman Atwood had Jake Paul, Logan Paul, Casey Neistat and uh, um, Tanner Fox over and he shouted them out and they all got a lot more subscribers from him. And also, um, it's the diss tracks that like Logan Paul, Jake Paul, Tanner Fox, um, after Rice Gum, they're just giving each other views and stuff. So, yeah. And remember, keep vlogging, never stop. And um, Off the Ranch's video will be in the description.